In this video, I'm going to show you how you can paint different layers onto your landscape material with utilizing the displacement map in Unreal Engine 5. The displacement map will give you this extra detail of realism that you need for your landscapes. So let's get started. If you watched my previous video, you already know that my channel is demonetized. So I've decided to switch to Patreon. Becoming a Patreon member, you support me and this channel to keep evolving, to keep creating more and more interesting videos. Besides that, you have access to all the files that I've created from the start of my YouTube channel. So right now you can download the water shader, you can download the auto material from my previous video. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it. And you can have access to more in-depth videos about how the things work, like the auto material, the water shader, and a few more videos. And also you will have access to a VIP Discord server only dedicated to my Patreon members, where I am active most of the time. So if you want to support the growth of this channel, and if you want to see more and more videos like this, go to my Patreon page, and roll now, and also you will have access to everything that I'm creating. Thanks everyone. Hello everybody, this is my first video for 2024. I hope you had a great 2023, and 2024 will be a great one too. So Happy New Year. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can paint different textures onto your landscape with displacement enabled. So let's start. Right now, I've just created the materials itself, but I'm going to create them from scratch again. So the first thing you need to do is right click, go to materials, material, and create your master material, which will be MM Landscape ENT for paint. All right. I'm going to double click on it. And the first thing that you need is some textures. I download a few textures from Megascan. I download this mossy rock, this rocky ground, and this shoreline. Of course, you can download whatever you want. I'm just going to select them and drag and drop them into my material. I'm going to do the same for the rock. And I'm going to do the same for the shoreline. So the first step is to arrange your textures by definition. So here is my moss, albedo. Then my second one will be my shoreline. And my third one will be my rocky ground. Okay. This is the first one. Then I'm going to move to the normal maps. This is my moss. So here I have a moss. Here's my moss. This is my shoreline. I'm going to move it over here. And this is my rock, right? So we have our albedo. We have our normal. Then let's do the same for the ORD. So this is my moss. This is my shoreline. And this is my rocky ground. Okay. So we are ready. Right now, what we have here is we have albedo textures for the colors. We have normal maps for everything. And ORD stands for occlusion, roughness, and displacement over here. Okay. So with just those three textures, we're going to have amazing results on our landscape. The displacement is enabled for me, but if you don't know how to enable the displacement, go and watch my other video where I explain how to enable the displacement map. So the next step, what we need to do is we need to add a landscape layer blend. So I'm going to right click landscape layer blend. This will blend the textures together and will give us the ability to paint. What we need to do is we need to add three elements. The first one will be our moss. The second one will be our show line so i'm going to add one more show line and the third one will be our rock rock okay so we have our rocky we have our show line and we have our mossy start connecting it moss show line and the rock and i'm just going to duplicate this one and do the same for the normal map connect my moss show line and rock duplicate this one and here is a little bit tricky what we need to do is we need to have separate uh, layer blends for each channel so first is the red channel over here okay so the first one is our occlusion the second one is our roughness so i'm going to duplicate this one and i'm going to connect the roughness over here and finally, I'm going to duplicate this one one more time to connect the displacement. Let's connect the displacement over here. And after you make this work and connect everything, let's connect our albedo textures to our base color. So connect this to the base color, connect this to the normal, 
and start connecting. The first one is our occlusion. So search for ambient occlusion. I'm connecting here to ambient occlusion. The second one is the roughness. So connected to the roughness. And the third one, the blue channel, is for the displacement. Okay, so we set up the connections over here and we set up the blending. And the last thing that we need is texture coordinates so we can control the UV tiling. So right click, texture coordinate. And from this texture coordinate, we're going to control the tiling from here, the U and V tiling. And let's start connecting to every single texture over here to the UVs. Connect first the albedo, then connect the normal map, and then connect the ORD textures. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Great, right? So our material is ready. Save it. And let's test this out. I'm just going to minimize this. We have this master material, which is PNT. Right click, create material instance, MI landscape PNT. MI stands for material instance. Then select my landscape, drag and drop it over here. And when you connect your material instance, you're going to see this, which is pretty ugly and not working any kind of good. And this is because we didn't set up the layers to paint on. So go to the landscape, click on paint, scroll all the way down. And here you need to create weight blended layers. So click on the first one on the moss. I already have a folder here, layers, and I'm going to name it moss PNT layer info. Save this one. And right now we have our moss. Add one more for the show line. Scroll down layers, show line, PNT layer info. And we need one more for the rock. Painted layers, rock, PNT layer info. Save. And let's go to the selection. The next step that you need to do is go to your landscape, search for nanite. And you need to enable nanite in order the displacement to work. Enable nanite and click build data. Wait a little bit so the data for nanite can be built up. And when the data is built up, you can see these ugly spikes over here. And this is because of the magnitude of our material. So go back to our master material, landscape PNT, double click, select the landscape PNT material and scroll all the way down to the displacement. What you need to set up for the magnitude is 0.15 and save it. The next step is we need to tile the texture is a little bit less. Right now it is 1, so let's try with 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Click Save. And right now everything should work. We have this pretty nice effect over here. And let me paint some rocks so we can really see the results of the displacement. Go to the landscape, paint layer, select our rocks, and now you can start painting. Wait a little bit so we can catch up. Let's paint this one. Let's paint a little bit show line over here. Some show line over here. So you can just see the blending of the textures. Okay. I'm just gonna delete my player start and put it over here. Player start. Drag and drop it. Hit play. And let's see how this looks. You can see that you have the displacement working pretty good. When we go into this mossy terrain. The displacement is working also pretty good. You have these nice details. And let's go all the way up to the rocks to see that it is also working for the rocks. You can see here the displacement is working also for the rocks. You have this shoreline working with these pebbles, blending to the rocks. So this is how you can paint different textures onto your landscape and use the displacement map to get this extra detail on your landscape. Thank you guys for watching this one. See you in the next video. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy.
So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge you're supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video, happy game development, I'm out.